Hello there. Today we will be discussing about file transfer protocol. Let us start by introducing about the protocol. So, what is FTP? FTP stands for file transfer protocol. FTP powers one of the fundamental internet functions and is the prescribed method for the transfer of files between computers. It's also the easiest and most secure way to exchange files over the internet. An FTP address looks a lot like an HTTP or website address except it uses the prefix FTP instead of HTTP. What is a protocol anyway? The dictionary defines the word protocol as a set of conventions governing the treatment and especially the formatting of data in electronic communication system. Therefore, FTP is essentially a set of conventions that can be used by an electronic communication system to transfer files. What are some common uses of FTP? The most common use of FTP is to download files. FTP is vital to the MP3 music sharing, most online auctions and game enthusiasts. The ability to transfer files quickly and reliably is essential for everyone creating and maintaining a web page. How can I use FTP? First, most web hosting servers provide FTP access to their customers to allow them to upload the contents of their websites. Second, companies often have FTP servers that allow users to send and receive files. Third, most universities have FTP servers that allow their students to download course materials and upload assignments for submission. Fourth, use FTP to transfer files among users, especially if the files are too large to attach on an email. Lastly, use FTP to browse throughout a collection of downloadable files on a public software archive. Second, let us discuss on how FTP works. So, how does FTP works actually? FTP requires two computers, one running an FTP server and the other running an FTP client. The exchange is initiated by the client who logs in under an accepted username and password. Once this occurs, a session is opened and stays open until closed by either the client or the servers, or until it times out. While the session is open, the client may execute numerous FTP comments on the server. These include comments to change directories, list files, get files, and put files. What's the difference between passive and active FTP? FTP is an unusual protocol in that it uses two ports, one for comments and the other for data. This is one of the reasons it's superior to HTTP for transferring large files. Active FTP was invented first. The client initiates a connection on the server's command port. The server then initiates a connection with the client from its data port. In passive FTP, the client initiates both connections with the server, which remains passive. Active FTP may cause problem if your client is behind a firewall. From the firewall's point of view, the FTP server that is trying to initiate a connection with your client looks like an intruder and is usually blocked. This is why many users have difficulty using FTP to download files from behind a firewall. Passive FTP solves this problem.
but create other problems, notably where FTP server security is concerned. The server must listen on a large number of ports. This requires the firewall to let a lot of unqualified traffic through. Most firewall administrators don't like this. As a rule, you don't need to be concerned about passive and active FTP unless you administer an FTP server or a firewall. If you experience difficulty using your FTP client from behind a firewall, this is likely the reason. Perhaps you should discuss the matter with your firewall administrator. And lastly, let's talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of using FTP. Some of the advantages of using this protocol are first, FTP is the fast and efficient way of transferring bulks of data across the internet. Second, it has an automatic backup. Whenever you edit your files in your local system, you can update the same by copying it to the host system in your site. So in cases where your site has crashed and all the data is lost, you have a copy of it in your own local system. It also works to the other way around. Third, FTP gives you control over transfer. That is, you can choose the mode in which the data is transferred over the network. The data can be transferred either in the ASCII mode for the text file or in the binary mode for executable and composite files. Fourth, you can work with the directories on the remote system, delete or rename the remote files while transferring the data between two hosts. Lastly, while using FTP, tools like Marcos can also be used to make your work more efficient and easier. Disadvantages of using this protocol are first. FTP wasn't designed to be a secure protocol. Second, encryption of data is not done in FTP. Lastly, FTP causes the following attacks during the transfer of data. Bounce attack, spoof attacks, brute force attacks, packet sniffing, username protection, and port sealing. So that concludes our short and concise explanation on file transfer protocol. We have discussed the basic concept of FTP, how does FTP works and the advantages and the disadvantages of using FTP. We hope that you will get useful information out of this. Thank you and have a nice day.